Welcome to the We're Not Blowing Hot Air podcast, powered by Oxygen Plus, featuring amazing athletes and wellness-minded individuals who share how they elevate their everyday lives. On this episode of We're Not Blowing Hot Air, Scott and I share a second sneak peek at the real Santa Claus, who flies undercover as Ed Taylor, Santa Ed, that Santa guy, or as Rob Deerdeck called him, the greatest Santa in the history of Santas. An actor, entrepreneur, and founder of the worldwide Santa Claus Network, Santa shares how he stays mentally and physically fit, he doles out some Christmas secrets, and he reveals a special gift Oxygen Plus and Santa are giving together to better our world, all on this episode of We're Not Blowing Hot Air. Hey, welcome to We're Not Blowing Hot Air. I'm Scott, and it's good to be back here with Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Scott. Hey. Great to have you back. Yeah, yeah, back behind the mic, huh? It's been a little bit, um, but I'm here because we have a fun episode today. Uh, we have a returning guest. Uh, he was with us last season, uh, season one, episode nine, I believe it is. And uh, his name is Ed Taylor, a.k.a. Santa Ed. Welcome back to the podcast, Santa Ed. Hey, thanks, Scott. Yeah, right here, did, did, I don't know. Are, do we have video on? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh. Hey, hey. That, help. Yeah, that, that might help yes. a little bit. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> well, it certainly helps me believe. And I mean, I really do believe that you are the real Santa Claus. Um, and more proof is really found in your influence. You've been on MTV's Ridiculousness music videos, including You Make Me Feel Like Christmas with Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. You show up for people online at nursing homes and on Hollywood TV sets. And Rob uh, Dyrdek, is that how you say it? Yeah, Rob Deerdick, yeah. Deerdick, he called you the greatest Santa in the history of Santas. And our <laughs> listeners can, the Scott mentioned, learn more about checking you out on season one of We're Not Blowing Hot Air. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Go back and listen to that episode. It was a great episode. We learned so much about what you do and how you just kind of are the spirit of Christmas. So much fun. We want to congratulate you on growing the worldwide Santa Claus Network. Um, that's a group of Santas who make holiday cheer a year round gig. Uh, you've grown it to 5,000 members, which is a thousand more since last year. Congrats. Yeah. You want to yeah. talk a little bit about that? Great. Yeah, thank you. In, in fact, before I do though, let me, let me do a, a little, a little shout out for Habitat for Humanity. I, All right. I, was, nice. I was at their party, uh, um, the other night and you know, they're, they're, they are such a wonderful organization. I had no idea that they did everything that they do it, but they're, they're fabulous. And it was a great party, but yeah, That's with our, great. with our uh, worldwide Santa Claus network, yeah, we're up, we're up about 5,300, I think members right now, oh, wow. uh, which most of which are free. So, I mean, I want, you know, I mean, <laughs> so it, it doesn't, you know, not a big hurdle to join, but, but it, the bigger hurdle are these, these guys, men and women, both portray, we have women Santa Claus portrayers, as well as, as, of course, a lot of women who portray Mrs. Claus. Um, but the 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 biggest uh, uh, hurdle, I guess, to joining our group is the heart. We call it the Santa heart, right? Where people that want to spread the Christmas spirit and, and they do it in their communities and some in bigger ways. Some are in movies and television and things like that. But most show up at the HOA party in their community or the church party, the, the Habitat for Humanity group or whatever, spreading the Christmas spirit. And uh, and we just love these people. And, and yeah, it's grown, you know, over the year and, and we're really excited about that. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, good, good. And it should be for all, Santa should be represented by all sexes and races. And I mean, totally. even why not, why not religious denominations? Because it is, it is about the spirit and um, it's, it's Mary everything. That's the right, phrase that we're kicking around this year at Oxygen Plus. Totally. You're, that, that's it. We, I'm, we're telling people all the time that it's about the Christmas spirit and we define that. I mean, it's not just music. It's not just decorations. It's love in action, right? It's yes. love in action. It's, been, it's not just feeling it. That, that's one thing and it's an important thing, but it's that next step, right? That's what Santa represents is when we, we take, we give something, we do something for you. And, and that, that's what we're trying to champion as Santa Claus portrayers is that concept of doing for others, giving, being loving. And, and, and 
uh, you know, a lot of people don't even realize, but, and I know we'll talk about this, I think later, but this time of the year, the holiday season is by far the largest uh, time of the year for, for contributions to not-for-profit organizations of all types. So it's, and, I mean, and it's huge. And so that, that, that giving spirit is what we're all about as an organization and, and certainly me as a person. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and you are, you've proven it. We, you are excited about Oxygen Plus breathing actually our product, not just yes. the company and Scott and I over here, but you, you've been using our product and because yeah. um, you found out it can help you think, feel and perform your best um, and really overcome the strains of a modern day Santa lifestyle. Um, it, it, so it's a, true. A, a little elf told me you're, you're a believer now uh, of yeah. oxygen plus. So what yeah, I exactly. In fact, uh, yeah, I live in Southern Oregon. I, I, I was Santa Clausing for many years in Los Angeles, but I live in Southern Oregon. And just earlier this week, I was up in the, in the mountains up by Crater Lake, if you're familiar with, with our state. Um, and we were shooting a commercial and I took the oxygen plus with me, you know, and, 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 and it's, awesome. I mean, in fact, I have a thing of it right here and, and it's just so convenient and 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 it does it helps I, I you know get a little more clear thinking I guess mm -hmm. and yep and I was just thinking you know we're at a little higher elevations and the oxygen they say you know is is not as dense in the atmosphere or whatever so I thought you know what I'm just going to throw a, a, a couple little bottles in my bag and off we go and I and, and you know so I do I really I love what you guys have done in fact more than that in addition to just the product, you know, I I became I did a little research on Christine, your founder, Christine Warren, and and I like I was kind of blown away by her passion. You know, what it really was is she bumped up against a problem and solved it. Right? She just says, you know what? I don't like the way these things are working. That people have these giant hurdles to get to oxygen, or like, I, I mean. I mean, just of all things, oxygen, how hard do you want to make that to get, you know, and, and anyway, for her to get to a, a place where she says, there's a problem, I recognize it, and I'm going to do what I can to fix it. That's huge to me. I mean, and and of course she did. I mean, incredibly uh, successful at bringing this to the market. What, what, what an incredibly big task, what, a, what an obstacle that is to identify what you need to do and how to do it and bring a team together to do it and all those things. It's incredibly impressive. So, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you know, so it's a great product that came, that was born out of a great mission, you know? So anyway, I, I love that. Well, we appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think Scott and I are kind of her elves in the workshop, you know, like that's how <laughs> yeah, we feel, exactly. like, yeah. you know, right. like, and, and it is about the mission. Like purpose is so much a part of what ultimate happiness and, and fulfillment comes from and and without like knowing why this company was formed and what it's really about at its core when the days get really hard and the challenges happen and it, like that's real and it really comes back to there are people who benefit from this product and there are other people who really like need the product and and both of those people are important equally and it's always been about the customer and the end user for us so that's awesome you know um we like to see it as a gift, you know, like what we give is something that is can make the world a better place. And the way we do business, how we do business, all of that is really significant. So thank you for acknowledging that because it, it means a lot to us. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I just feel like we're aligned in that way. I mean, because I feel the same thing. I'm mean, in two fronts. Like we have all of our members that that are, you know, Santa Claus portrayal artists, we call them. And, and so they're going out portraying Santa. And they get the, the, this love from people. Everybody just loves on Santa, right? I mean, so they're, they're feeling that. Some of them charge. They, they get paid to be at parties or in retail stores or whatever. And, you know, when I get these, these wonderful letters, both from Santas and their spouses saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're able to get a new roof on the house or we're taking a vacation or, the, you know, and, and it's like, you know, what a wonderful thing that they, they're doing wonderful things for people. And and they are also receiving from that, and it's it's making their life better. And I, I just love that kind of a marriage. And to me, that's that that's a lot about like what I say, like the Christmas spirit. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's us doing for each other. You know, that reciprocal value. And and like Santa says, you know, we, we want to reward people who 
be nice, all right? Be good. And, 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 and this is what I tell the kids. In fact, I just told this to a, to a child yesterday. I said, we want to be good for goodness sake, not for the present, right? You're, you're going to get a present, but that's not why you're good. You're good for goodness yeah. sake. Never you know, thought about that. For the sake of word. being good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the sake Absolutely. of being yeah, good, right? 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 That, that's what yeah. we want to yeah. be good for because you are good. Mm -hmm. So be good, right? So uh, anyway, we have a lot of fun with all that. A lot of fun with the language. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fantastic. Well, okay. So one question that we like to ask on the podcast is how do you owe plus? You shared a story about bringing it with you. Do you have any other ways that you use the product? You know, <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. Uh, it, it, and not only that, we, I have, where's the other? Oh, I have, is it right here? Because we're just using it. Uh, but but we, I have one of these, you know, the, the, the sleek things. Last year, I only had the, the O can, stick. You know? Yeah. Part of the Elevate yeah. Pack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And this is pretty neat, actually. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's pretty handy. And it comes out with a lot more power, like a lot more pressure. And, you know, so uh, should we show it? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> there you go. It, it, it. It's, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty neat. And, but, you know, I mean, I, I don't feel like, like I'm chronically low on oxygen. In fact, I have an oxygen meter here, um, mostly because I, 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 when you go to the doctor, they put one on you. Yeah. And, and it's like, I wonder how much one of those cost. I mean, it seems like it's an important thing that they check all the time and my norm, my r rates are normally in the normal range. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy one because they're like 20 bucks or whatever and just have one sitting here. And, and so I check it from time to time and it's like sometimes a little on the lower end. And I'm thinking, oh, that's interesting, you know, so, so that I can take some of the oxygen and just a few breaths, a couple of puffs, you know, and, and then it, you see the thing climb up and it's like, well, you know, I now it's you know, to be honest, I mean, I don't know if there's any of this that's like real psychosomatic, you know, like my oxygen is up, so I'm feeling better, you know, what you know, but I but we all know, I think, that that higher concentration of oxygen, like in your doctors check it all the time, is a good thing physically on us. And I and you know, so whether it it's it's psychosomatic that my oxygen's up, so I'm feeling brighter, or if I'm just feeling brighter because my oxygen's up, it doesn't really matter to me. Like the oxygen is up and I, and I feel like, okay, I'm a little more maybe on my game. Right. And yeah. so, so anyway, to me, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a worthwhile um, element component. I mean, I just took vitamins this morning. Man, what do vitamins do? And I don't know. I think they do something. I take them every day, right? You know, I mean, I, so yeah. I, you know, I take the vitamin D, and when I get my test, they say my vitamin D is good. Um, so anyway, I, you know, for me, I, it's just one of those little things in my little toolbox that I think maybe, or or medicine chest, or whatever you want to call it, that that might make things a little better. I, I, I and yeah. I, I think it would. I mean, it makes sense to me. Yeah, for sure. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people too, um, including myself, actually, I, you know, if I'm going through an exercise routine, workout routine, something like that, I will use it. I don't necessarily have the oximeter to know what my levels are at, but it helps me to kind of catch my breath. I feel yeah. like I can get through it a little bit easier. I would imagine maybe you have probably some sort of routine to help you kind of get up and down the chimney and haul the presents <laughs> around and yeah. stuff like that. Do you have any kind of regimen or you know something you can I, I do, I for do. The season. So, okay. so 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 here's where i started right so it's real easy for a lot of us to say you know we can get helpers we can get the guys to come out and shovel the driveway we can get the guys to come out and blow the snow we, and up here at the pole we have a lot of helpers that can do all that but i like to roll up my own sleeves and go to work right so so that's that's part one it's like what i can do myself i'm going to do myself given the all the time in addition to that, I have a little treadmill right over there. Now, you know, you're not going to see me running any sprints or marathons for that matter, but I do get on there every day and move a little bit. And every once in a while, I'll get the, uh, the, the elevation thing, you know, I'll get it on a pretty big tilt. So I'm, I'm like mountain climbing on there for a bit. Nice. And, 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 and I get off, I'm going, you know, kind of huffing and puffing a smidge. So then I, I go over and take a couple of shots of that and feel like, okay, you know, I get oxygenated. You feel Big, look how we want to do. I want to do this. You know, you feel bigger, right? You feel like puffed up. And uh, anyway, so that so that's kind of my routine is doing 
physically doing what I can. I'm doing a little bit of hiking outside, but do the treadmill pretty much every day for a little bit, you know, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. Good for you. Good for nice. you. It's awesome yeah. to know. And and there's myriad studies that show that that supplemental oxygen can help with mental clarity, focus, alertness, memory, recall, reaction time. And also um, we have a study that showed it that breathing oxygen during and after workouts, it reduces lactic acid buildup by 24%, which is huge, which means you can yeah. perform longer and um, have less muscle soreness so you can recover faster. So I'm so glad you're using it, but let's, let's get into what, you know, and thanks for being all about oxygen plus, but let's get into what you're all about really more so, which is Christmas and what let's, Go into what really is behind Christmas. Let's find out the yeah. truth. Yeah, you know, I, I so I am so incredibly blessed. So, you know, f- for many, many years, I would see families and people in person. I do television shows and do big parades and do all those kinds of things. And then the pandemic comes around and it's like, everybody stay home. It's like, okay, you know, and, and so we created this incredible um, vehicle to communicate with families via Zoom. You know, we're doing this, this online stuff, and, and it was amazing, and it is still amazing. So now, all all season long, I personally am, am zooming with people, going to in person parties, doing all that kind of stuff. That that's all about spreading the Christmas spirit, right? Like I mentioned earlier, I love this idea of of conveying the the both the hopefulness that we have, but also doing for others. So, um, so that to me is is the big mission, right? Spreading the Christmas spirit. But then we dig down a little bit more and start looking at saying, well, what what does all this mean? You get all the questions like, you know, how do your reindeer fly, right? Or the North Pole? They they you know, what, why are you at the North Pole? And there's an age, you know, it's not four year olds, but you get to those preteens or older. And I, I have a lot of conversations with, with older folks and it's like the North Pole. You know, I explained to them that there, there's a reason that we're at the North Pole, not the South. Right. The North Pole spiritually forever has been that, that guiding light, that that thing that holds us on our path. And so if you think about it, of course, that's where Santa's going to be, right? I mean, he'd give us that focus of being true to who we are, staying on the proper path, doing good, again, for goodness sake. Um, you know, so, so we have that. Then, then we talk about the reindeer. And it's like, well, you know, the, the reindeer had possessed some magic. And, that, and I tell all the kids, it's like, it's almost like I can be in multiple places at the same time, right? And, and, and so, so my hope is, that we have this eight or nine year old that that when they get 10, 11, whatever, and they start putting the, all the pieces together. Wait a minute. Santa said he's like in multiple places at one time, you know, that, that all of a sudden all the things that I said when they were younger take on a different meaning. It, it's the same truth, just a different way to view it. Right. So uh, so we, we just I just have a lot of fun with that aspect of what Santa represents, the goodness. And, and, you know, I'm always telling the kids, I used to tell them, you know, you should be proud of yourself. You know, no, I used to tell them, I am proud of you. Now I tell them you should be proud of yourself, you know, when they're about whatever it is they're doing. Then we have this little conversation. What does it mean to be proud, to take pride in what we do? You know, and, uh, and I just, I, I love those elements of portraying Santa and, and being able to be, a small part in all these little lives and, and, and bigger lives too. <laughs> so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know I get a little yeah, corny yeah. with it, but it's fun. No, it's really oh. good. It's really good. It's, it's about the connection, right? It's about connecting with people. And you said, you know, even during like those wretched COVID months, which were, you know, in some ways actually really positive because people dug down, reassessed, found out right. how, what that, what that people, you know, I think it was kind of like a, a reckoning or a revelation period yeah. for a lot of people and yeah. meaning like how do i connect is it online in some ways with some things or is it in person is it is it with language you know i, I think the the idea of connection is so important in in how we facilitate this idea of giving and love yeah exactly I, I yeah i couldn't agree more than and what we you know what i've seen because i do a lot of of company um 
I want to say parties or whatever, but they're not. They're, they're online things because so many companies now have employees or or contractors, or whatever, all over the place, and often customers. Then, and so very often companies will want to have a gathering that they do maybe via Zoom or, or Teams or whatever. And they want Santa to join and come in and give acknowledgement to people or whatever. Mm-hmm. And to yeah. me, you know, I, it's like, what a fun way that is. So it's because it, we yeah. all think, right, of Santa talking to the five-year-old at the mall. And, and and that's a neat thing. But but it's so much more. And this technology has really opened those doors in a lot of ways. And for, for me, it it's, allows me to be in a small community in Southern Oregon and talking to family. I just had one in Switzerland over the weekend. I, you know, I, I'm talking with families all over the world. Just last night, I, I had a, a mom who was um, in, in, on, a, on, a, on a movie set actually in Atlanta, her children out in California uh, and me here in Oregon and all, we're all connecting around Christmas and Santa awesome. Claus. And, yeah. and that's a, a pretty normal thing for me. And it's, it wasn't really doable. I mean, it was possible, technically possible before the pandemic, but now it's commonplace, right? It's what it's what we all do is we hop on and FaceTime or Zoom our family and our friends. And and to bring Santa into that mix is a, a pretty neat thing, I, I I think. You know, people are really enjoying it. Yeah. I think it I think it really speaks in just another way of, you know, your dedication in bringing the spirit of Christmas to people. And it's really easy to kind of like envision Santa with the elves, you know, building wooden toys in this little assembly line and stuff. But, you know, you're using technology and zoom to, to bring that to people and connect with people. And which is, which is yeah. so cool. And I think, again, we talk about being good for goodness sake, you know, yeah. bringing that to people and giving back, you know, that is you're, you're doing what you got to do to, to do that, you know, and it's working. Uh, yeah, and so I, I think so. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know the, the 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 good part on all all of this for me is if we all take a little bit of time between you know or say in the month of December you know and and really even a little post Christmas a lot of us take that vacation between Christmas and New Year's right I mean I did that for many 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 years long before the portraying Santa and. It, it's taking that little time and assessing our lives, our relationships, our relationship with work and, and with all, all of that stuff and saying, you know, how, how's everything going? Right. What, what do I do? What, what, how do I change path where I need to change and acknowledge all those things. And, and for me and, and for the Santas that we bring into our, our Santa school and into our training program, we try to be, thoughtful, maybe, maybe a little bit the elders, right? I mean, we've, most of us have been around for a bit. And uh, so we've experienced some things that some of which is beneficial for maybe grandchildren age people, right? The, the youngsters, but others maybe a little bit for adults, you know, Hey, you know, okay. He's an old weird, gray bearded guy that puts on a Santa suit, but maybe I ought to listen to a little bit of what he has to say. Um, it, you know, so I, I hopefully there's some of that in all of this too. I, you know, we uh, we aspire to to make our contribution worth listening to. Well, yeah. the story, right? I mean, yeah. it it's passing along a story, and to me, it's a story of of hope. Yes. You know, like, it, what do you think, Scott? There's a lot of yeah. There's still a lot of need for that in this world right now. Absolutely. Yes. Hope. Um. Just connecting and uh love and just remembering that um some things are just not as important as others mm. you know mm-hmm. what prioritizing. Might... yeah, yeah pri- yeah. prioritizing yes absolutely yeah. absolutely seeing seeing what's what are the most important things yeah right? yeah and i think time i think so often we get caught up in like the pursuit of other things and we forget that our time is really one of the most valuable things in the world like yeah. the stoics talk about that how how like it's the pursuit of like fame riches and all those you know money all those things and power but really like what's forgotten until we're older is the value of our time right. and who we choose to bring into our closer inner circle where we choose to work mm-hmm. how we you know, the decisions who we bring onto the podcast. <laughs> like, I mean, it <laughs> yeah. seems silly, but like, it's really important to like to us that we 
that we have, like, when we're so glad you're back for a second time, I just want to reiterate that it's so neat. And I think that we might have this be an annual thing. <laughs> um, it should well, be. I'm honored, right? But, uh, you know, just because like, you know, it's such a good message to share. Now, can and I get really a little bit? It. <laughs> Can I get yeah, a little yeah. bit weird for just me? I don't know how oh, long I've been. Go haven't. for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so some, I, I have a, a people who follow me on TikTok and Instagram and different things like that. And, um, and one of the things that I regularly talk about on those live sessions is that the holidays is as, as meaningful as they are and as positive and uplifted as they are for a lot of people, you know, the, the Hallmark movies, right. And all of that. Um, there are also people who are affected by the holidays in kind of negative ways. They feel lost more deeply. They they yeah. feel isolated. You know, they, there is all of that. And for me, I was looking like, well, what, where, how do I help? You know, what can I do there? And and you can't physically identify all those people. You can't be there for them as much as we would like to be. Um, and so one of the things that I I had in my own personal practice for many years, but I've, I've kind of shared in a broader scope, kind of, kind of, kind of seeing, you know, behind the curtain a little bit here. Uh, and, you know, so I'll just fess up that I'm kind of a weird guy. Um, but one of the things that I found are, are these glass, what they call singing bowls. I don't know if you're familiar with these, but they're like Himalayas. They were very popular for centuries, right? I mean, um, and and they, they've been actually proven. It's kind of kind of in a way like what you guys do. I didn't think about it until this very second. But the oxygen plus, they, there's just with these these the resonance created by these bowls. They actually lower your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. I mean, you Google it, you find studies on it. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of created a little meditative practice where you breathe in, hold the breath, breathe out. Um, and, and just to give you a quick sample, can we do it? No, we're yeah, in. Yeah. Let's, let's right, lead right. us through a quick all right, all right. Like, actual breath thing. This uh, is amazing. Okay, we'll little, little and example. unplanned, yeah. everyone. <laughs> just so <laughs> yeah, 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 totally this is not scripted at all. <laughs> so, so here's the, here's what we do. And we'll just do like 30 seconds, just short. Okay. But we will breathe in through our nose, hold it, not, not stress. We're not trying to set any holding your breath record. Just hold for three, four, five seconds, set, you know, whatever. And then let out through your mouth. And we'll do that three or four times while you're hearing the bowl, the resonance of the bowl. This is a, it's a made out of crystal quartz crystal. Um, and then the, the little mallet is has a little rubber ball on the end and the edge of the bowl on the outside is a little textured on the inside is smooth. Mm. Um, and I believe this is keyed to the, uh, to the F the, the note F F. Mm. Um, so, so anyway, we'll go through that, that process um, okay. for just a, a short minute, minute. Okay, here we go. You know, like uh, that. Santa Claus, because that's who I think you are. Um, you know what? We just did a podcast recently on um, with Dr. Patrick Porter, the inventor and founder of BrainTap. And okay. he uses its light, sound, and vibration. So sound and vibration are the, uh, those two elements that you just keyed into, which I think mm -hmm. is pretty neat. And um, just to cross promote, I would say go check that podcast out because you might really love brain tap too. It helps with lots of energy and recovery things. So, yeah, but that was really neat. I, I felt, cool. I felt it. I felt relaxed and absolutely there's, there's really good research on that too. Like, um, like a sound bath. You ever done one of those? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah same okay. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, what's weird, like I go on TikTok, we have hundreds of people on there and I'll say, now just take an evaluation. Like, where are you kind of stress and, and anxiety, whatever, you know, and then we'll do this for a couple minutes and then come back and reassess everybody. I'm so much more peaceful. I went from a seven to a three and it's, yeah. you know, so it's a, it's a real thing. And, and, and again, to go back to why I'm sharing it, it's, it's the holiday season. If you find yourself in a place of being, stressed right or being just feeling less than or not whole 
if you'll if you'll just pull a bowl and you can go buy one on Amazon, they, you know they can get expensive, but you can buy them for twenty or thirty bucks. And um, and and if you just develop this practice, if you if you'll do it even three times a day, if, even for just two or three minutes, morning, noon, night, if if you can fit that into your schedule, it'll it'll change. I mean, you will feel better. You'll have better days. I I'm absolutely um, beyond convinced that that is true. And, and I used to have a friend of mine, he's an inspirational speaker, a guy by the name of Jim Rohn, long, long time friend. He's since passed, but he used to say, uh, we've all heard the saying that an apple a day will, what, an apple a day will keep the doctor, doctor away. away. Keep the doctor away. He'd say, of course. And he said, and if, and if that was true, he said, I don't know if it's true, but if it's true, we would all say, well, that's easy to do, right? We could do that an apple a day. Yeah. But what's the problem? The problem is it's also easy not to do right it's a, so many of these things that are easy to do are also mm. easy not to do mm-hmm. so for you know 30 bucks we can have one of these you know bowls sitting in our on our porch in two days from now right i mean that's easy we could actually take a minute or two and do it kind of like your oxygen plus right i mean it doesn't cost that much money it, you know if it makes us better if it brings more to our life yeah i mean it's it's easy but it's a, also, it's a so lot of it you know ultimately a lot of it has to do with how much do we love ourselves and how much yeah. are we willing to invest in good things for our own health, mental wellness, you know, that like, that's why oxygen plus is really a, a, a well-being company, a wellness company with, it's, totally. you know, like we, we want to promote, like you did nasal breathing when you did your breathing exercise yes. with uh, the crystal bowl, you know, and, yeah. and that's, what yeah. that's how to breathe whether or not it's our product or not like right. breathe through your nose most of the time there are times for mouth breathing but it's much more intentional and, and athlete uh oriented when you need to yeah. so but anyway exactly. you know so yeah anyway, that's fun stuff it's about right? loving I mean, yourself it's, it's, yeah uh, yeah, the, yeah exactly and and mm-hmm. during you know during the season and beyond you know we so right now we're all about the christmas season from you know all of this stuff that but as soon as we get to January, first thing we do within our community is have a debrief. We will bring in hundreds and hundreds of clause portrayers from, from around the world and say, share some good things, but share some bad. You know, what what uh, what was a bit of a good, disappointment for you? you? You know, where where did something fall short? Where was it you? Share your own foibles, your own mistakes. You know, let let us learn from you. Um, and I'll share mine. And and so I think that process is really. Mm-hmm important and good and we'll usually do two sessions of that early january and then we go back at okay what are we going to do to build that christmas spirit not with santa we don't need to dress up and go do it but what do we do right now in february say to start lifting the christmas spirit to, to bring love in action to our communities to our people through our network and more and more that is taking the form of things like this podcasts, social media, live stream events, and all that, where many of us can can reach, um, you know, thousands, and in some cases, millions of people with, with well, hopefully what are positive messages, right? So, yeah. wonderful thing. A, yeah. a, a, a very strong message here, I think, in the last few minutes about just like continuous improvement. Like you're finding new ways to, you know, bring your wellness to where it needs to be with the, with the bowls and breathing. And, you know, you're working with um, the people within your network to, you know, what, how can we improve? How can we, you know, be better for people that we're connecting with and and those types of things. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. It's so good. Um, I'll give you one more thing I share with our members regularly and we can move, move it along here. But I always say, you know, after an appearance, we have two questions. You know that 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 I think are the most important two questions. It says, "What could have been done to have made this appearance, this this party, this parade, whatever, better? What could have been done in a global sense?" You know, and then the second question is, "What could I have done to have made it better? Could I have been more attentive? Could I arrived earlier? Could I have acknowledged more people? Whatever." But in a on a bigger scale, what could have been done to make the event better, better organization, you know, better location, whatever. And then what could I have done? And, and to take those two elements and make some notes of that and then pull those into the next one. See, that's how we have constant improvement, right? The, the, the Kaizen, the Japanese philosophy of constant, never-ending improvement. It's mm-hmm. building on, it's recognizing what can we do to make the next thing better. And to me, that's a, that, again, that, that's love in action. That's caring enough 
and again, it goes right back to Christine, right? It's, it's, it's bumping up against the wall and saying, how do we solve this problem, right? And then, then not just backing down, you know, getting a team together, overcoming the obstacles, you know, so much of this is all connected. And that, that's why I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm really thrilled to be a part of what you guys are doing. Oh, well, well, thank you. You know, I think what you identified too is like, what's on our locus of control, you know, yeah. like, like, and, and how much, can we take responsibility for our happiness and, and our, and the way that we interact and connect with others and love others? Like these things, like we need a community, we need each other, I think. And just on the note before of like those people in isolation, um, Hey, even if you're a listener and you're lonely, give us a DM. I want to say hi to you. Um, I want to like, yeah. just be, we're here for you. This is a, there's a time there's, you know, unfortunately, there's more suicides around the holidays than any other time. And I say yeah. that because, you know what, guys, we got to look out for each other. We got to we got to take care of each other, one another. And and um, so give a smile. Let people cut in front of you when you're driving out there, you know, like um, know that you're loved so you can love others. I think that's and even oxygen plus and Santa loves you. So just, <laughs> just hear that message. Yeah. It's, it's for real. Um, you know, what, one yeah. of the things that, that, that the people who are real bearded like me that go show up and do this, <laughs> you know, one of the real things that, that we, talk, you know, so we, and of course, it's people from every walk of life, you know, retired cops and teachers and every kind of thing and people that have life habits of, of being whatever they are. And they notice and, and this comes up all the time in our conversations. It's like all of a sudden I find myself being a whole lot nicer to everybody all the time because mm. I'm I, that, when people look at me they see Santa Claus even if I'm wearing a black t-shirt they they look over and see Santa Claus you know so uh, so having that awareness kind of ups your game as a as a human you know I I I, I tell our members all the time that that the the best uh, advantage to doing what we do is it, it it makes your life kind of this personal development project. You want to step into Santa's shoes. You know, you want to, if somebody looks at you, you want to be consistent with what they would hope to see. You don't want to be, you know, being a jerk. And I, what th I thought of this is when you said they let people in, in traffic, right? You, you know, I mean, what would Santa do? Right. It's like, come on, you know, Hey, you, you, you know, if you need to get there before I do get there, you know, I don't care. Um, yeah. You know, anyway, it's kind of funny. And that, that tells yeah. people all the time. It's like, I haven't been in a hurry since I, I can't remember when, right. I mean, I leave early. I, I've been around long enough to know if I leave 20 minutes early, I might get to my destination 20 minutes early or I might get there on time, but yeah. I'm going to enjoy mean, the ride a whole lot more. You have yeah. supersonic reindeer, though, to, to oh, get well, you where no. you need to go. So, you have I mean, a little easier time getting know. there. That does help. Um, no traffic. I'm flying above it all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's, there's probably a little metaphor in there, so right, right? Flying above it all. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I like that. I like that. A very good one. Well, that's great. I mean, to, to kind of so to kind of circle back a little bit, you know, giving back and and uh, and and just kind of embodying that spirit. We wanted to talk a little bit about um, Oxygen Plus joining up with you uh, and partnering to donate five thousand dollars to a nonprofit environmental charity. Would you could you share which organization uh, was chosen and why? Yeah, so so you know I live um, in Southern Oregon. I I, I don't want to. Um, you know, it's not the well, North you Pole. Summer, you I mean, summer there, right? I mean, you summer. <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. Some, summer here. That's right. Yeah, summer okay. here. Right. And, and and in Southern Oregon, it's beautiful forest. Again, it's home of Crater Lake, the, the national park here in Southern Oregon, and and wonderful rivers and forests. And you know, and I and I spend a lot of time outdoors, as do so many people here, and so many vacationers who come here. Anyway, the in the Rogue River, and it's kind of a world famous river for salmon fishing and and steelhead and different things like that. Anyway, there's a thing called the Rogue River Watershed Council people that keep an eye on the trails, the waterways, and, and make sure that these things are well cared for and that, that the uh, development doesn't encroach too closely without taking adequate precautions and all that. So anyway, that's the, the organization that I chose, the Rogue River Watershed Council, um, and they're, they're a wonderful, wonderful group. 
Well, that's awesome. We're so happy that you've made such an amazing decision. It's 1.6 million acres. Um, like you mentioned, it's from the headwaters near Crater Lake to all the way to Mule Creek. Um, and, and it hits, it, this is just from their, their uh, information on online that we found that it hits the towns of Grants Pass, Merlin, Shady Cove, Eagle Point, Butte Falls, Central Point, Jacksonville, Phoenix, Talent, Medford, and Ashland. So a lot of communities, a lot of people yes. who are now going to have, you know, hopefully we can enjoy and preserve that river and and what it does and so i mean thank you so much for for helping us oh, thank to you guys it's gonna it's gonna mean so much i mean i'm on the river a lot during the summer awesome. especially, but all oh. times and and i mean we see otters and beavers and and bald eagles and osprey and and all this 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 stuff this nature that is there i, I mean i take my my grandchildren down to, to see all this stuff and it's uh it's just wonderful, and and we want to protect that right for future generations, and it and it means that somebody has to pay attention, right? We we we, you know that we've made a lot of progress since you know the the '60s and uh, it, with our environmental uh, efforts, um, you know we're not seeing the pollution into the rivers and, and waterways like we used to, but there's still a lot to do, we, you know we have to pay yeah. attention. So so anyway, thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. What a, what a no. huge gift. No, thank you. Um, we're so happy that we got to choose this together. And um, our listeners, you already mentioned that charitable giving is the highest in December. But yeah. if they're more inclined to give to a, uh, a environmental oriented organization, a nonprofit or a, a charity who's working, only 3% of all charitable giving is actually specified for our environmental needs yeah. in, in the U.S. And so um, we donate uh, 1% of our revenue through 1% for the planet, which is Patagonia's founding charity that, you know, they bring together companies like Oxygen Plus, as well as individuals. So even if you're not a part of a company, you can sign up for that. But if you're an individual, you can sign up to be a, a member of 1% for the planet. So I just also want to give them a plug because they're really doing amazing things and, um, and, and let us give to charities like you picked santa so thank you again <laughs> yeah thank you great job yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. all right wow. well let's do this yeah. why don't you uh could you i'll ask nicely could are you gonna you? ask him to sing <laughs> good idea <laughs> i wasn't going to but yeah. you gave me yeah, an idea <laughs> we did that last time <laughs> yeah we did yeah we did go back <laughs> listen or watch the episode it's great um, no, uh, what we always want to do is we want to call out, let the listeners know where they can find and follow you on social media, uh, websites, those types of things. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, I guess I don't have my sign up that Santa guy. So that's one, you know, so if you want zoom with Santa or any of that kind of stuff, that Santa guy, and that's Instagram and TikTok and, and, all, and everywhere. Um, and uh, then the other in the organization, what we've really talked about is the Worldwide Santa Claus Network. So if you if you know anybody that has a Santa heart, if they, you know, just throw them over to the network, you know, let them let them go over there. Join again, join for free and just learn a little bit about what we do. Um, we have free free everything. Right. We have free ebooks, free all kinds of stuff where people can say, you know, maybe maybe I could be Santa for my organization next year or whatever and we'll, we'll show them the ropes a little bit and um and get them started and then if they want to go beyond we, we have a ton of additional resources but uh but yeah worldwide santa claus network.com awesome yeah. all right, all right. Well, thank you so much merry well, christmas merry everything yeah <laughs> absolutely and thank you so much thank you scott uh, thank so you much, lauren we had so much fun uh last season and we had to have you back and uh, again, just a, just a, a blessing to have you around and doing what you're doing. So thank you, thank thank you so you much. I want thank you, you to have Alan by weirdness on here. Oh no, it's next <laughs> no, year. Next year we're gonna get more weird. I yeah. think we should oh, talk good. about holiday parties and Ooh. the truth of what really happens at holiday co oh, company parties. Yeah, we can talk about get that. A little, you get a little naughty. That could, that could get a little <laughs> weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank all right. You guys. All right, Santa Ed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 
Thanks for listening. Today's episode was brought to you by Oxygen Plus, produced by me, Lauren Karlstrom, and was edited and engineered by Scott Deming. If you love our podcast as much as we do, do us a solid and subscribe, share, rate, and review. We're not blowing hot air. So more people get the chance to elevate their everyday lives with Oxygen Plus.